Hi guys, welcome to our SLGIS Assistant YouTube channel. Today I am going to explain about digitizing on satellite image and extract vector data from raster image. If you want to create your own map for a particular area, first it is essential to capture Google image and georeference to suitable coordinate system. You can watch my previous lessons and refresh your knowledge about georeference in satellite images and scan images. Okay, now I am going to start digitizing. First, open the catalog window and browse a folder for this job. Then I am going to create a personal geodatabase for storing data. Right click on your folder. Then click on new. Personal geodatabase. You can rename the name of database. After that, create a dataset for storing and linking features and feature classes then we can create any number of feature classes under this data set right click on your database then click new feature data set you can rename the data set and click on next you can select the coordinate system for this area then click next next finish First, I am going to digitize transport features in this georeference image. So first, create a new layer as transport in your created GeoDB. Right click on your dataset, then click on new feature class. I am going to rename the name as transport. You can type the alias as name. Then you can select the type of the feature. I'm going to select this is as line features. Then click next. In this dialog box, we can insert field for this feature class. As an example, if you want to add the transport type for this layer, type the field name as type. Then change the change the data type as text and you can change the length of the text then click on finish likewise you can add any amount of layers with various data types okay now we can start digitizing first check whether the edit toolbar has added to this arcmap window you can check it by right click on toolbar and check whether the editor toolbar is turned on. Now you can click on editor, then click start editing. In this editor toolbar, there is an icon named create feature. Click on that, then you can select road layer and click on line. Now zoom the georeference image and start digitizing. You can continuously draw on the center of the line by putting nodes in this type of turning points. If you want to finish the digitizing process, you can double click on the line. Now there is an option for change the attributes of this feature. This is the attributes button in edit toolbar. Click on attributes. Then you can change the type of this attribute I am going to uh, type this as main road then you can click on editor save edits likewise you can digitize all the transport features in this map
after complete digitizing click on editor save edits then click again on editor and stop editing now i'm going to create a feature class for building layer as polygon layer as i explained you earlier you can digitize building by creating a new layer as building right click on data set then new feature class i'm going to rename this as building and alias as building and the polygon type should be build polygon features then click next here you can add some fields like name and the data type I'm going to choose this add text now you can digitize all the buildings as polygon and prepare attributes click on editor and start editing then click on create feature now I'm going to digitize some buildings as rectangle zoom a building then draw the polygon and double click to finish the polygon then click on attributes you can change the name likewise you can digitize all the buildings in this map Oh, if you want to create the building as polygon layer click on building then click on polygon and you can draw the polygon after complete editing you can click on editor save edits then click again on editor and stop editing As I mentioned earlier, you can create some point features for this area such as place names, utility points or kilometer cost. After creating all the features, you can symbol and label the features appropriately for this map. After adding module information, you can be able to create your own map. You can watch my previous lessons for getting useful tips to create a map. Hope to see you in next lesson. Thanks for watching and please subscribe us.